Planning Commission, Tuesday, December 5th. Roll call. Richard Black is absent. Greg Maloof here. Dan Sargent here. Dan Brown. Absent. Alec Mosley here. Katie Trahan here. Greg Rollins here. Ed Prova here. All right. Approval of the previous minutes. I move the minutes be accepted as we approve this submitted. Second for that. Second. All in favor? All right. All opposed. Minutes are adopted. Uh, based on the agenda that we have, we're going to shuffle some things around tonight. Uh, as we have a public hearing call tonight, our first order of business is going to be the minor subdivision certificate amendment. Yes. Uh, so this is a minor. Uh, this is a subdivision amendment to um, amend the certificate. Sorry, certificate for uh, minor plats because they want something that was showing that the planning that the planning staff had reviewed it and that it had met all the requirements for minor plat approvals, which is a simple two lot subdivisions without any utilities or roads or any kind of that. More of a paper trail issue here, huh? <laughs> Discussions on this? Okay. Excuse me? From the public. Mm -hmm. Commissioners? Any comments? Any input? I'm in favor of it. All right. We already voted to recommend. Right. Public comments? Questions? Concerns? Motion to adopt. Let's have one. I move to adopt the certificate uh, as uh, amended. Second, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And all opposed? Mm -hmm. Pass unanimously. Mm -hmm. Item two that we're moving to now is the the Bose Partners rezoning. Um, ID to C2. Uh, I'll, I'll address this first. So last month we had um, so the planning commission had recommended a rezoning from ID to C2 of the large what used to be the Bose Conference Center. But during that, since then, we have since learned that there are two small tracks that one of them, of what is known as College Street, and the other uh, small track between what was known as College Street and DeVos Street were part of uh, DeVos that we were not previously aware of. Their property maps on uh, Tennessee Property Viewer did not show it. We had to go and find through deed. There's a deed. And, I have um, attached the boundary survey that was done by DeVos Partners whenever they bought the property to show these two tracks, and then the deed that that the, uh, that shows the town of Mont Eagle. I think it was in 1999, somewhere around there. Yeah, there yeah, anyway, um, had deeded this to DeVos Conference Center, and that was part of the sale whenever DeVos Partners bought it from the Conference Center. They bought these two tracks along with the large tract, and then. I think there's a couple tracks further up north. Um, okay. So what we're wanting to do is to rezone that from ID to C2, since it's currently zoned ID, it's all that's ID, just being conformance with the, the big tract. So once again, a little housekeeping here. These two tracks were left out of the initial approval. Yes. When we change zoning, we're going to vote to change zoning on these two parcels to match the rest of the vote. Questions? <coughs> I have moved that we recommend the rezoning of the two parcels identified in our agenda materials from ID to C2. Second. Second, Second. by the mayor. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Passes unanimously. Next on the agenda is the minimum square footage for residential structures, the zoning amendment. We've been talking about this for a while. Measures, and I think we finally got down to something that we can work with where we have established 800 square feet for, for R, Yes, for R, yeah, for you want to change R2 and R3 from 600 to 800 while also providing um, a, uh, a caveat for apartments, condominiums right. to be 600. Right. Square 600. 
that's what we did. Uh, we changed in the use, if you see under R2 and R3 for minimum square footage dwelling unit, those are now 800 feet. And then for, uh, the, we have letter F was added, seeing that um, apartments, condominiums will be minimum 600 square feet. Let's see if we have discussion on this. Commissioners, any questions or concerns? <coughs> Comfortable with it. Community? Questions, concerns, statements? All right. Motion. I make a motion that we do uh, move to an 800 uh, square foot on the R2, R3 that is in proposed. And 600 on our apartments and condos. Yeah. Right. Second. Second by Alex. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Passage unanimous. Thank you. So now we'll jump back on our schedule. Uh, any properly presented old business that we need to address before we move on? I have none. You have none? Public? Commissioners? All right. The Will Breeze Townhome Condominium Site Plan that is here, and there are several copies if somebody would like to see it. This is a 22-unit townhome on Moffitt Street behind High Point. Yeah, I think so. There you go. And do we have a presenter? Thank you. Will you please introduce yourself? I'm the engineer representing the project. Um, we also have William Vaughn, he's the developer. Um, like you said, this is a 22 townhome units with surface uh, parking over on Moffat Street. Um, it's currently zoned R3, it's 1.41 acres. We've uh, designed the 22 townhomes with the site also having 52% open space. Um, the townhome units are going to be 12,000 square feet. Um, excuse me, 1,200 square feet. <laughs> 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 with public water and sewer. Um, and we've been working closely with Mr. Rush to, per to perfect the layout and um, have everything work perfectly for the town of Mon Eagle. So if you have any questions um, for either Mr. Vaughn or I do a job. Sure. Um, go ahead. Yeah, so um, if you look at my memo, uh, the main things that you know I reviewed using the site plan regulations um, it does not fall under the town townhome ordinance because even though they're townhouses, they're not separate lots. It's all going to be one lot, and there's going to be units that are sold as part of like a uh, condominiums as condominiums. So that it doesn't fall under the townhouse regulations. Um, and if it filled, you know, we went through this site plan. Uh, regulations and um, it filled you know many of the uh, regulations the main thing that we were concerned about was stormwater drainage because it was unclear at times like where where was the detention pond because you know where how is the water going to flow and I believe that uh, she had sent in the changes showing how the water is flowing where the detention pond is so it's going to be a dry detention pond I believe it's in that um, yeah, on the layout I'm showing there and then also making sure that it did not they conflict do. with the landscape buffer. So when you catch basins and drains and their fluids starts. Um, now when this, this first approached us, this was the first blast that we've seen of it, but they have since then moved ahead with their engineering drawings and submitted a complete sand set of those drawings to you for review, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. So they and you have reviewed those. Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah, so they, when Richard came in, there it was much different layout. I would say not not as good looking as this layout, not as well done as this layout. So they've done a really good job Thank of you. trying to hear to the Thank audience. You. Have yes, you sir. satisfied yourself that the retention pond does not affect the landscape buffer? Um, I believe what they based what they said that it does not is that the detention pond is a dry detention pond, and that it will not the the, the buffer will not be um, on top of the detention. Pond. It will not um, have any issues there. Can I ask you a question? How, how far away is the entrance 
to this development from the yeah. filmmakers group. So now, um, I'm not sure off the top of my head how far it is from the elementary school. Um, so a lot of school, a lot of school traffic on the Moffat in, in yeah. the afternoon, and people pretty much still at one lane of the road, waiting to pick up their children from school. <coughs> But this is behind, you said behind High Point, right? right. Yeah. On the other side of Moffitt. Yeah. Point. They have two entrances, means of egress and exit here. And um, they are set back significantly from Moffitt Street. Looks pretty good. And the fish pot itself will be behind um, the, the town townhomes in the back, and there will be a landscape buffer of trees between that and any other properties. So that, if that has any <laughs> bearing. Commissioners, further discussion? I have, I have several questions. Um, one about the drainage. Is there one um, entry spot for the drainage where it's going across the um, parking lot where there's the drainage drain? Um, yeah. So there's the one catch basin for the parking lot and then behind the townhomes on the side there's, there's a ditch that's going to collect the runoff from the pitch groups on the back um does that answer your question so mm -hmm. but it looks like to me that there's like the the main low spot <coughs> is on the one corner and that pretty much the majority of the parking lot is draining to that one yeah. corner. Yes. <clears throat> um, and that that's, I mean, I, I don't need to be solving all of <laughs> looking at and solving that problem, but that seems like a lot of water to be going to one catch basin. The, um, the, is it going to a 24-inch pipe? The catch, the catch basin and draining out so it will hold that flow, the large flow. Um, I also submitted drainage calculations um, with the with the submittal to, mm -hmm. to be sure that that will catch all the water and you won't have the flood in the parking lot. That, that was a, you know, I looked over and, you know, what they, you know, I'm not an engineer, but what they're saying made sense. It was a 58 page, you know, calculation, so I didn't include it for the agenda for, you know, obvious reasons. I mean, I'm not an engineer yeah. either. I just yeah. want to make sure and that our engineer yeah. has looked at yeah. it and, you know, yeah. looked at it and thought everything was in the, okay. In the day, the, the, the site plan regulations say that they have to submit stormwater calculations and stormwater plan. It doesn't talk, it doesn't go into any further detail in terms of what it's supposed to look like. And, you know, we rely on them, you know, if the planning commission does have issues with stormwater, they, they they're just not sure about it, then you can reserve the right to get your own engineer to look at it. But they have to certify as part of site plan regulations. They certify, I believe, on the the stormwater plan. They're certifying on the like note six saying that mm -hmm. post um, stormwater drainage runoff will not exceed pre um, development stormwater drainoff. Mm -hmm. so, so that's that's on they're putting that their stand to say that's we're standing behind our calculations once again uh the acreage that's under development here was what 1.8 1.41 okay 1.4 that's not that big a piece of dirt mm -hmm. and the, the it's hard to see but the, there's a park there too and that will help because it's not impervious so the, the area coming off of there won't be too too much but we wouldn't want to design something that's going to flood. We wouldn't want to um, ruin our relationship with money. No, of course not. I mean, I, no matter but what, you're not wanting to design something that's going to flood. Hopefully. Further questions, discussions? Mm -hmm. right. This is this will be one contiguous building or continuous building? Will no. there be any breaks between the Break units? Or yeah, there's a firewall? Or? There are no, openings. The no, there are these the walls. Road. Side. I'm just taking firewalls. Yeah. Those are all firewalls. Um, I have to check with yes. Captivation. Yeah, that's this, that has come up before in other projects. Right. Public comments, yes. Uh, two questions: Where um, the stormwater drains uh, the pipe, and you probably don't know this. I'm asking the rest of you. That pipe, where does that pipe go, and where does it drain? 
I can answer that. Oh, you can. So in the detention pond that we designed, we have three drilled, in, they're called injection wells. So the water is going to go, there's going to be no runoff from the site. It's going to go through the injection wells, um, back back down, past the groundwater. Um, so there won't so be you're saying runoff. it's going to get absorbed right there? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, they have a significant dry detention pond on your drawings. Yes. So it, it won't. It won't. Um, it won't be instant, immediate that it goes into the injection wells. It's going to be held into the pond and discharged slowly through through the injection wells um, back underground, so that there's no runoff. Okay. I just know we're on rocky top. So there's a lot of rock, right? Below yeah. all of us. So. Which is which is why we're able to do those injection wells because of the rock. So there's a lot of voids and we can drill right down um, with no issues. Mm -hmm. so. My my second question is the um, uh, what you were talking about, Mayor. Um, the uh, between each of the units, is it going to be solid or is it going to be? Uh, we lived in condo and found out that the retention wall was just a thick uh, flame retardant that had been torn down when some workers were doing stuff and never put back up. So how easy will it be for workers to tear down those? Um, I, would, I would have to address that question to um, William. I'm not quite sure about the architecture of the plans. Um, with the fire walls, it's a five, five eighth inch, you know, gypsum board between the walls. You have to have walls from both sides. And you have gypsum board between it all the way to the, to the roof. So there will be walls, not okay. just. Oh, yeah. okay. Further questions? Yes. Um, just quickly, the, are, is this going to be an approval vote tonight on this? Yes. Okay. Yes, we hope so. Um, that's. I was just want to make sure that there was a the kind of condition that, that if um, the injection wells don't get approved by TDAC that we have to come back to the drawing board and maybe reapprove a new drainage system for this. So it should be kind of conditional upon getting TDAC's approval for the injection wells. Cause I know they they get a little funny about injection wells this close to bedrock sometimes. So I hope it works out. It's a good design. I just I want to make sure that the commissioners know that this should be conditional upon that approval. Yes, we, we need to um, we have full plans to proceed once we get the approval from you to get the class five injection well permit required for you to have injection wells. Right. Travis, question for you, buddy. Sure. Is that in your um, bailiwick to inspect these? Yeah, it is. And I was actually going to, I'm trying to reference it. I think it's under 319. It's called dwelling and unit separation under the right. IBC and IRC. And I mean, these will be fire rated walls and, and uh, be held to standard and code. Thank you. For the comments and discussions. I have a question about sure. the, the flow with the um, <coughs> driving. The yes. Has um, Travis, have you looked at that? And is a, I'm, I'm guessing that all of you have looked at it that, that a fire truck can get around in there and make that radius? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, um, it's one way, but the, the lane is 24 feet wide, the center lane. So a fire truck can turn, and there's two entrance, well, there's one entrance and one exit because it's one way, but a fire truck can make a complete turn in there. Okay. Um, I, I can't tell from looking at the I can, drawing, I so can, that's why I, I can do, um, I can, send you guys a page if I have a program where I can drive the truck through and I can send that um, and send it to you guys if you'd like that just to show that it can fit if that was as long as you've got the calculations and that Travis has looked at it and is com comfortable with it then I'm fine with it I just want to make sure that we're meeting you know those requirements and that the safety is is there okay I can if I may I think it's safe to say Travis and I have discussed this. Um, if there is a fire, they're going to enter the closest oh, entrance to the yeah. fire. And I hope there never is one. But I think uh, we have turning radius and sufficiency for a 
fire truck to get in. Is that correct? Yes, a lot of talk to mayor on you know, other projects from the town and scope. And one. So that the minimum requirements are the, the, the requirements is 12 foot on access uh, for, for fire apparatus, and I think this project meets that. Yeah. And my, my other question is about um, ADA parking. Yes. And I only saw one parking spot. And from what I looked up on the um, parking requirements, there would need to be two. I believe it's one, per, one um, large van parking space per 50 spaces. Okay. This, is, uh, this is under 50. If I uh, believe that's what I was there. Total number of parking. Uh, 46, I believe. <laughs> You need and two. Two. Mm -hmm. One thing exists for one more space. Mm -hmm. It's for 26. Mm -hmm. 26. 46. Uh, oh, yeah. It's awfully hard to see on the little one side. Yeah. See, and I might be looking at something that's a different date or something that I saw 26 to 50 yeah. you have Chad, what's it up yeah it's so two. it's two oh, so it is. is it two one van one regular mm -hmm. so yeah they would just have to change one of these to right. a mm -hmm. which can do that which you probably just do the one right next to it or so you still have the same that still that way thank you and then further comments discussions yeah, like, can we go back to the detention pond just for a second, please? Sure. Uh, I know you're talking about the injection road, but is, is there an estimated time for evaporation for these ponds? For let's just say we have a heavy uh, three-inch rain and very short window. It appears to me you're going to have quite a bit of water standing within feet of a couple of these buildings. Am, am, am I looking at that right? Um, I, I don't know if that bad calculations in, in front of me, but it's, it's never going to come to the top of that, um, of that highest contour. I believe it's at 119. Um, so I don't have the times that it's going, that it's going to take to drain, but um, there's, a, there's not, it's not going to be full. Um, we tested it for up to the 25 year storm. And um, it doesn't overflow. So what would you estimate the distance from the center of that pond to the back of the the building on the? I guess that would be the south side. Fifteen. Fifteen. I'd be mine. Now they do have a gradient across your parking area that drops four feet from 26 to 22. And then they drop another four foot from that parking area to the entry on there. So there's an eight foot <coughs> drop from the high point on the site to the bottom of the retention base. They've got a pretty good flow there. I guess one of you want my comment is, as close as that is to the back of that building, and if there's four feet of water there, and I know I'm hypothetically throwing this out there, what happens when you've got kids leaving five feet from the building, falling down a hill into a pond? And it goes across the entire length of the building. Um, it is about 15 yeah. feet away. But, um, the pond isn't four feet deep, it's only three feet deep. Okay. I'm having a hard time seeing it. It, there. It's difficult. I can, if you don't mind, I can walk the bigger one over Okay, that's fine. It's hard, it's hard to see, but this is the ditch coming around here, and it looks like it's all part of the pond, but this is just really down to the pond. Thank and you. Then this, this is the 
the dark line here? Yeah. So it is at 1940. We changed it. So okay. It is 40. So it don't it start at 1922? No, it does not start there. It doesn't start in 1942. Um, but we just had to get it back, get out of the grade back there. Okay. Very good. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. And then one last uh, question I was going to ask if you could kind of uh, talk through the committee as well as the our constituents here about what these things are going to look like, finished product, facade, rules. Uh, is there someone here to speak on that behalf? Yes. Um, did you like to the mix of the, the outside look of the building will be from brick, siding, stone, uh, a mixture of, you know, just not all of them the same. The matter of third or fourth one will be exact. Single the story or two story structure? I'm sorry? Single or two story structure? Two story, yes. Two story? Okay. The way, the way it's designed, there's 600 square feet on each floor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, but yeah, it's siding, stone, brick. Uh, just give it some nice look instead of just mundane. And mm -hmm. what type of roofing materials are you talking about? Asphalt. It'll be, it'll be all asphalt. Maybe 30 cent, you know, sit down kind of roof. And how many are there? There's 22 units. Three buildings, two buildings got seven minutes, one building's got eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what's uh, the zoning behind that property? Uh, here's R3 on the, the plans that they have submitted. R3? Mm-hmm. Further comments? I have another question Go about, ahead. about the ADA. I'm sorry about this, but... Um, I'm just wondering where are the ramps to get to the building? Because I see the ramp to get from the parking up onto the sidewalk, but then I don't know how you get from that sidewalk on that middle part to get to any of the buildings. Um, I think we're only required to have the ADA ramp at the mail access okay. point. But they don't need to get to any of the actual townhomes. It's not sounding right coming out of my mouth while I'm saying it's so odd. <laughs> um, we didn't, I can add in an ADA accessible sidewalk um, from the parking lot over, but yeah, you know, typically we just put it um, by the mail center. Okay. I mean, I just, to me, it seems like it needs to be able to get to each building. Um, I'm not. I don't know ADA yeah. rules. I'm just saying from a common sense perspective. To me, that's what I would think. Will the entrances to the buildings be on the same grade as the sidewalk? Depends. Under design criteria, do you have the same ADA requirements on residential if you do commercial? You I don't know? believe so because if I you think don't, they're different. Aren't you're, they? you're commercial, you're, you're, you know, you can't choose the customer right. you're selling it to. I'm not sure if it's a different market, so. Okay. Um, Just a thought. Yeah. I don't believe it's the same as commercial. And this does connect to sewer. Does hit city water, right? Okay. Further comments, commissioners? Public. Do we have a motion to approve? I have a motion that the commission approve the site plan for Willow Breeze Townhome Condominiums as submitted on the following conditions. That uh, the applicant secure and report to the town that it has TDEC approval for the drainage system and that it revises uh, drawings to ensure compliance with the uh, American, Americans with Disabilities Act, which I think everybody here now knows is going to require an additional parking space right. and may require uh, ramps associated with the sidewalks and certify that to us. Are you comfortable with that? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So we have a motion. Do we have a second on that motion? I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? 
Passes unanimously. Thank you. We appreciate it. We're down to uh, any new business that we need to discuss. Where's Dean Lay? He always has been busy. Any good time to ask you then. Granted. All right. Persons having business? And persons having business in front of us this evening? I'm waiting for a motion. Move Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All opposed. Being adjourned. Next meeting, January 2nd. It's a Christmas. 2024. <laughs>